Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Policy Pack Least Privilege Manager to have users self install MSI applications. In previous videos, you saw me bypass UAC prompts for things like Procmon, which requires a UAC prompt, and also install applications that maybe ship as .exe. But in this in this video, I'm going to show you how if a standard user double clicks on an application that's an MSI, well, you know what's going to happen here. If a standard user tries to do this, they get prompted right here for the install with a little flag on it. And look at this, of course, it doesn't work. But with Policy Pack Least Privilege Manager, we can elevate just when you need to, just for the circumstance. So over here on this machine, this is my group policy console. And I'm going to, for my East Sales users here, I'm going to say, I want all of my East Sales users to let standard users install Skype for desktop. Okay. So when I click edit here on this group policy object, I'm going to go do this on the user side. You could do this on either user or computer side, but in this case, for this demonstration, I'm doing it on the user side. We're going to go to the least privileged manager component, and we're going to add a new Windows installer policy. So there's a couple ways you can, you can do this. You can use a simple rule or a combo rule. Combo rules are explained in other videos, which are a little bit more complex. I'm going to do a simple rule. And the simple rule I'm going to do is I'm going to say, based on the exact file, so I want only this version of, uh, of Skype for desktop to be installed. That's going to be the hash. Or if I want to, I could do a signature and say, let anything from this publisher uh, and a combo would let me do any of these things. I'm going to just use hash to make this simple and just do a quick demonstration. So I'm going to then select the Windows installer file. Now here on this, my, this machine, I have a copy of that file to make this demo a little easier for me. So if I click on share here and I go to apps to manage, I have the same copy I'm going to deploy or let users install themselves rather already here on my machine. So I'll just click it and boom, we get the hash. So when they try to run setup, uh, Skype setup.msi, as long as it's this hash, boom, we're going to elevate it in real time. So we're going to run with elevated privileges here. And we're going to just say, let Skype for desktop install as standard user. Okay. Leave the state as enabled, and we could, if we want to, use item level targeting, which can say some users under these conditions go ahead and let them do it, or other users not under these conditions don't do it. So, for instance, if you wanted certain uh, people in maybe the West Sales users to be able to do this, you could filter based on group or OU membership, for instance. Uh, or you can say only let them do it on laptops, but not desktops. That's another good idea for item level targeting. Anyway, we'll go ahead and click finish here, and it's just that simple. So, we've got the rule, we've got it say, do Windows installer policy, elevate, and uh, based on the hash condition. It's as simple as that. So 10 seconds ago, you saw me try to run Skype, uh, uh, the Skype installer MSI, and it didn't run. Now I'm going to be running GP update and see what happens as soon as group policy kicks in. Now, of course, group policy would kick in the next time user logs on, or just naturally in the background. I just happen to be using GP update to, uh, to make this happen. So at this point now, I can just double click Skype setup here. And before, when we clicked next here, we saw the installer, the install uh, uh, button had a little flag on it, which wouldn't permit it. But now we've elevated it, and boom, just like that, Skype 730, which is this exact version that I used by hash, will now be enabled and works perfectly. And it'll run as a standard user, but we installed it with elevated privileges. There you go. Now, what about other MSIs? Well, you didn't say that those were good. So because you didn't say they were good, uh, you can get this far. Okay. Uh, but well, let's see what happens. And oh, we get prompted, which is exactly what we expect. So that's the general gist. If you want the MSI to be installed uh, with elevated rights, you need to uh, give it an explicit rule using Policy Pack Leach Privilege Manager, and then you're off to the races. Hope this helps you out. If you're looking to get started, click on the webinar slash download button, and then go ahead and uh, we'll see you at the webinar and give you a trial. Thanks so much.